Boom. All right, let's get slotting on their way since it is. Actually, no, we still have a few seconds. Never mind. Wow. A few seconds. We're at 38 out of 45. Some people can't wait a few seconds, and we know that too well. We. Wait, there's one. Yes. Can we the in the of the community? Form? I don't know. We're both. The title of my sex uh, tape. I'm dumb. We are both UN's blue. Can't read? Congratulations. Welcome to TSB. All right, 325. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and slot green four slots first. Can I get a UN squad one squad leader, please? I am lifting the slot okay. restriction, so. I really ah, got fuck. Fine. All right, cool. Fine. Awesome. Racism. Toasty, congrats. You are now UN squad two. Squad lead. Thank you. All right, can All I right. get the green four slots filled? Thank you. Alright, doesn't matter if they're fully filled, but that's better if we get them. Going on to blue four, can I get two combat lifesavers? Can I get two mortar operators? Wow, English. So as a reminder, at mortars, um, you have like a, almost 150 flare rounds per mortar. You have about 80 HE rounds per mortar and then eight smoke rounds. Uh, it's all within the mortar itself. There's no resupply for it. Uh, you have your artillery uh, range card that is compatible with the mortar. Uh, to charge 0, 1, and 2 represent short, medium, and far. Uh, so I'd recommend the short range because uh, that's what you're going to be going with. And I will be trying to accurately mark on our maps uh, where positions of friendlies are. Uh, that way we can do accurate mortars despite the fact that the maps we have are going to be completely different from the uh, actual map minus the roads and what structures we have there. So. Can I get an alpha squad leader? Can I get an alpha team leader? Sam, you are now Bravo squad leader. Congratulations. No. All right, can I get alpha filled? <laughs> can I get a Bravo team leader? Dragon, nope, no. Oh, Lolo, do you want to you wanna be team lead or do you want to be auto rifle? Yep, all right. <laughs> <laughs> can I get Bravo filled? Yeah, I'll take that. That's my fault. I'll take it. Wow. Beautiful. Fucking People beautiful. People having so much trouble today. Mm. Are we allowed no, no, to load no, in? No, Are we getting no, pushed? It is a Monday. No, uh, I will load you guys push. in. Um, I'll give another minute because we're missing, what, seven people? You're allowed to click OK, but nothing will happen. Yeah, nothing will happen. I problem with the, mob, with the mod. I don't know what happened. So I'll give it a minute, let you guys fill in, and I'll also give uh, some basic guidance of the area. Wait, Dude, no one mortar. actually died in this operation, and we're TSB. Does that mean we're all going to die? Yes. I'm going to be honest. If you actually die in this op, uh, I will laugh at you. <laughs> Hell yeah. My version if you die. The, the, just, that was just, accepted. Just, just because what? you shit, don't assume we all shit, okay? What are the chances? <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, He's shitter than shit. What are the chances of the command of the... Go take your meds. I mean, Lero. Wow, you're the one looking over your shoulder. Alright, I'm pushing us to map. Reminder, this is one life. If uh, you somehow die in an op where insta-death is off and you have two medics set as doctors that you can just be brought to the CCP and brought back alive, um, get off the server and you can watch the stream. Mortar's falling short. Got it. Amazing. <laughs> I have the slow. I can shoot Somebody shooting off a nuke. Got it. This is Sorry, no that word is banned. It has yeah, Digiton, we are uh, we are alive, yeah, buddy. Yeah. Glad you're enjoying clothes. the videos. We're just doing yeah, uh, new danger clothes. Getting what, David, what, David Crockett's? All right. All right, most of you are uh, visible. So here's the deal about the area. Uh, anything in that yellow area means it has hey, custom Miro, buildings. How's your day? Uh, this, I think, is the only compound that's actually on the map. Uh, these, the CCP and the resupply are two separate buildings. Uh, the structures that are present here are all not there. Uh, the ones out here are, but um, we're going to stay within the perimeter of the town itself. There's also a bunch Seven of extra open areas, so these trees, for example, now. don't exist, but you'll see Looking that forward to more on that. But we've got uh, a lot of... Sorry, one second. Marine squad for TMTM and we'll crush anything that stands in our way. Sorry, people giving sub messages. I'll address those in a second, but... Uh, otherwise, the roads exist. Uh, I, again, I would highly recommend you look at the image on the announcement for you guys watching it's the i have it in the map command uh and i have it lined up with uh these two roads there's also a small side road that does this 
but you'll uh, see it. It's more of just a footpath for the sake of this scenario. Otherwise, I will give the battle lines in the actual mission. I'm gonna have the squad leaders walk with me to do that. Uh, one last thing. The UN guys, you all have RF radios, SAS, you have 152s. The squad leaders for the UN have 152s as well, though, in case something breaks. Uh, because everyone should spawn with uh, radio programmers, but in case you don't, because Arma sometimes doesn't like to spawn you with them, just let me know and I'll put a box down with 16 of them in your resupply. Uh, otherwise, let me push us through. Please don't move around, because uh, it will be a little dark. Thank you for the hot mic. Oh, wow. Early 2000s units not getting ACOGs. Mm, yeah. Amazing. Welcome to how the real world actually works. All right. Let's uh, let's be a little organized here. Walk up to the road to the north, guys. Just follow me real quick. You can, all, you can hear all that footsteps behind me, man. All right, so here's the deal. These are the two mortars. This building on the left, I believe, is the uh, SAS resupply. On the right is the UN resupply. And then that building has the medical. All right, now continue to follow me. This is where it's going to get a little bit dark. I can't control your custom faces, so if you picked a white face as a black man, that's your fault. Alright. I'm going to start putting some illumination in the air for debug's sake. Give me a second. Oh yeah, right. Zeus flares suck. Okay, here's the deal. We have a little bit of a road right here. This is the uh, northern road that goes up to here. I want my first squad under SAS Alpha to set up. Let me uh, label the lines via color here. What the fuck? Tank hunter, you static. Throw them on me. All right. So I've marked Alpha's defense line for the SAS squad. Let's wa walk back here for a second. I'll show you where the UN's setting up their defense lines, because again, I'm trying to make this one a bit historically accurate, say the least. Do you get night vision in your eyes? All right. So everyone, let's hold for a second because I can make the rest of the uh, the thing from here. So give me a moment. Hey Sam. Yeah. Was that the one who who was your ammo bearer yesterday? Yeah. I have to find the new squad baby. There. Yeah, I missed the uh, automatic rifleman slot, so I'm just a rifleman. All right, everyone gather around, open your maps. That's basically the type of defensive setup we're going to have. So feel free to organize up along your squads. I'll adjust you via the Zeus interface if I feel it's needed but you have 30 minutes. Set up your lines and explore. Coordinate with your mortars if you need more artillery. Have fun. What about Charlie? I'm going on an adventure. Charlie, uh, form up at the CCP, actually no, at the resupply point where I'm gonna be. Uh, we'll see how many of you show up and I'll either bundle you to the front or put you on the rear. I need to see how many of you spawn in. Hey, hold up, real quick, real quick, break, break, break. UN, uh, do you all have your micro dagger programmers for RF stuff? Uh, 
Yes. Okay, we're good. All right, cool. 30 minutes starts now, guys. Good luck, have fun. Address me over 5-0 if you need me. All right, Clear, where did you put you in on the map? Because I can't see your map markers over. Oh, that is a great point. Let me uh, shift those to global. Stand by. Yeah, actually, the uh, thing's over here. Uh, global... 50 check. Good check. This is the CCP. And co, which means from here... I go north. Let's see where the defense lines go accordingly. Now, Alpha, if you want to go to the right of the MSR and cover more of that open area, feel free to give Bravo more room on the left. That's entirely up to you. It's going to be up to you guys to coordinate. Uh, the attackers will be coming from the flanks that you set up on, but the more you branch out, the more interesting this AO is going to be. You okay, Boo? Question, should the medics be on 50? Uh, yes, that would be a good idea. Are you alright? Did you just get yelled at for certain stuff? I didn't get yelled at, I just got angry because I didn't, I didn't know what I was saying. That's fair. We'll also have uh, mortars on 5-0. You didn't tell me the eyeballs, you said the pumpkins yep. and the spiders. Yep. Nope, I would have taken them down if you said the eyeballs. We have an eyeball ornament in the front. Good news, grenades still sound like barracks. Hey, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat and say you should probably get Matt to the CCP for blowing him up, uh, because it is up right now. So uh, if he dies, that's it for him. So uh, yeah. Wait, someone fragged themselves. Someone fragged themselves. Actually, a group of people. For fuck's sake. We'll go try and sort it out. <laughs> cool. I'm not sure if that was Matt Man, but I I I Out of interest, was it the UN or the SAS that fragged themselves? Uh talk amongst yourselves, you'll figure it out. Wonderful. Anyways, moving on. Can we get a like a flare up? Because I can't even see what we're supposed to be defending here. Give me a card right. that I can get so let me one. scroll up here. By the way, if you want to see the map, uh, I built it to uh, the map specifications. We're using Kajari, but I heavily Fucking rebuilt it. But Onion, thank you for the eight-month resub. One, my day's been good, just busy. Body. And Barb, thanks for the 35-month resub. Uh, Space Marines will not be a reservable group. Um, neither will the Grenadier Squad, because I only do special force reservations if every unit is a special forces force, but we're not having that today, unfortunately. Or for uh, that MCO. So it'll be first come, first serve. 79. So two guys on mortars. They're doing the standing glitch. Nothing much I can do about that. And there is the first flare. And it'll loosely illuminate the area around as it comes lower. All right, so we'll start the attack at about 4.05. So blue four, I'm trying to have uh, towards the front. I will put a, a vanguard force on the rear, but let me check some. So Charlie, if you're on net, how many um, how many guys do you have in your squad so far? Sorry. Uh... Currently trying to find one last. Oh, that is Matt Man Keck. We have three. All right. Well, we've got eight or so people in the channel upstairs. So I want you to go to the south of the CCP, basically on the edge of the light, and set up a trench line there. Uh, you're going to be rear vanguard. South of the CCP, got you. Yep. So I'm going to hit the L button. Uh, they are not going to be able to see this Seven level of lighting, but. Six. We'll see how things go. 
this is just a recreation of historical events. So I'll be attacking their lines directly, but what I'm going for is to utilize these trees here to, uh, you know, push up four down, and we'll go from there. Just to give a bit of a foreign concept, but it'll still hopefully work. Uh, hi, this is UN Squad 1. I'm assuming that is us on the southwest side for what says US Squad 1 over. Uh, yes, if I accidentally said US, that is my... I will fix that real quick. It's not a problem, just making sure I don't want to be in the wrong position. The, what the hell was more, that? More is UN Squad 1. <laughs> what was that noise? Oh, Mars is my stream dying? Like What's Twitch doing? Thing. Go ahead. Hey, firm, just referencing map. It's got some prearranged markers. Yeah, I was able to go to Twitch and see uh, it fine on my end, so. Out, uh, over. Don't know what to say. Yep, yeah, I'm marking our. Ah, you can hear the sound uh, of shovels. Elevations are grouped for it. Careful's been cable tied in the corner. Okay. And we've got, this will actually be uh, potentially up to a 46 person operation, which is about the number I wanted for this. Two to three squads of uh, SAS and the two UN squads historically. And we're just gonna see a nice perimeter dug around. Now between researching the concept itself, between the video that was released on YouTube a week ago, uh, some of the historical stuff behind the making of that video from the book to uh, other things I could gather, and uh, looking at pictures of the town. Funny enough, the pictures that were taken, they were from uh, Lugia Lal, but they were from a different operation, uh, prep for Barros, which I'm pretty sure is what the point of this was supposed to be, but I, there's a lot of loose things about it. I, I think it's a little more fictionist, just with some historical accuracies and inaccuracies, but I'm getting off track. Charlie, get a Regardless of the... Uh, you know, what's true and what's not. I've built all the kits accordingly. Yeah, uh, one exception is uh, these guys are supposed to have L85s, but we don't enemy. have that in the mod set, uh, so I gave them the SAS equivalents of M16A2s and the XME carbine. And uh, all the buildings, um, if you look at the map command, I have all the buildings set properly, minus a few because I ran out of room and I didn't want to build this AO2 too big, because even for 40 players, you can build a pretty nice defensive sector around this uh, AO. But here, uh, this is me with the uh, lighting on for my Zeus interface, but this is me without, and that's the uh, flares that are coming down. They're very, very bright. Flare out. Uh, now, each mortar has about 80 rounds of HE and 150 illumination flares. So they have a lot to work with uh, in case shit hits the fan. But it's also going to slowly get slightly and slightly brighter Seven as the mission carries six. on. And if I notice that they're running low on illumination, I can adjust its brightness of the actual scenario itself by uh, just increasing uh, time to tick down naturally instead of being uh, slowed down to the slowest coefficient I could put it at. Send in GOAT Team 6 now. But yeah, no, this should be a pretty fun operation. It's one of those, you know, dig your own trench lines and hold sort of scenarios, uh, which is uh, always fun to do once in a while. But I thought, you know, Freshen it up, build, base it off of a YouTube video that randomly came up on my feed, uh, build a custom area that no one's ever played before, and, uh, you know, just build a bunch of custom kits out of what we've got. So, you know, keep it working as is. But anyway, let me uh, scroll through everything here. Let's see. Bauer, thanks for the five bits. The mods that I'm using is mainly only missing the Star Wars stuff. Uh, okay, so we do it on sci-fi. Sci-fi means it will be run with less players, though, because less players show up for sci-fi stuff. Um, if you want me, let me back up a second. Context of ours making me something for uh, some composition he's working on, uh, which is SCP related. Uh, so, uh, that should be cool. On squad one. Can you see the lines on the map? But Candy Mountain, thanks for getting out a sub. I hope I pronounced that right. It yeah, went to we uh, the Raz the Pink Bear. Uh, <laughs> hope you both keep enjoying the ops. Hope you get a nice you, kick but... out of this scenario. And then, um, Jackie Bo Games. Oh, that's a posture check. My bad. I am leaving. Uh, Apura, thanks for the three-month resub, and Spears, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Hope you all keep enjoying everything. It is with your financial support that I'm able to spend like 10 hours per mission file when I feel like it, uh, building a custom composition. Because look, this is, all these gray structures represent what's actually on the map. So if I were to like go up Main Street here, for example, uh, there's not supposed to be any structures here. There's supposed to be like three right there, a fenced off area there, and then, you know, like a handful with some on the north. But as you can see, there's a, uh, there's a lot more. 
Furthermore, if we were to look at an actual neighboring village that is uh, custom made, like this one, for example, uh, it's a lot of Middle Eastern um, structures uh, from, you know, uh, Takistan and whatnot. That's the main buildup of Kujari. Uh, here I actually used a mix of um, vanilla Tanoan structures, uh, the native huts, uh, some Cambodian structures from RHS uh, Terracor, uh, some market structures from uh, Takistan, as well as some barn textures from Trinaris, uh, some vanilla wall structures. Uh, these are the uh, vanilla uh, rock wall structures from Altis. And uh, there's the other main fence I used was bamboo ones. I forget which mod that's from. I think it's Tanoa, uh, which is another vanilla one. Uh, the sheds are from Trinaris. And these huts are from San Bentain, uh from GOS, which I'm pretty sure is also from, uh, I think actually, I want to say cup, but it could also be a cup port from the whatchamacallit mod. Uh, Unsun. But Sam Bentain has them on their own, so I think they're actually from Cup itself. So, you know, we're seeing some uh, UGL flares being popped. They're actually blighter, brighter than the mortar flares, but that also, they're a little more rare. So we'll see the mortar gunners uh, do their thing. We got a CCP back here. The medics can also go up and administer medical uh, down. But yeah, as you can see, it gets very bright very quickly. And these guys started digging their trench lines back here. So, should be nice. Uh, hi, this is Alpha. Time check. Time check, you have about a little under 20 minutes remaining. Copy, plenty of time. All right, we have just under 20 minutes. So check nap, check nap. Good check. Right, so my bad earlier, uh, these aren't Unsun. Funny enough, Unsun actually like has a full copy of a bunch of cup stuff put in the Unsun mod itself, which is really funny. So I think those are actually just um, cup. But I spend... The first, uh, first go over of this scenario, I just hit a bunch of areas, hit all the structures, determined which uh, buildings I, um, excuse me, which areas of trees I wanted to keep. Uh, I think I put down a lot of the structures, uh, but I did it off the stream because I kept tabbing in and out of stuff. And uh, then I focused on a lot of the smaller details such as fence work, crops, uh, the, the fencing, so some structures, you know, they have that custom build up, some just are loosely acquitted. Uh, but I wanted to make this look as natural as I possibly could, so that's why we have, you know, clothing racks, some, uh, you know, stru um, food sacks, carts. Uh, it's, I think, about 30 to 40 different types of assets just all stuck around. But I, I did my best to make it as uh, close as I could. And also, I did my best in every location possible to make sure there was little to no clipping off the ground. So I uh, deliberately picked certain structures when the terrain was a little uh, unfavorable to uh, make that all work. However, I wasn't able to do it for every single structure because, you know, sometimes you just have to have a little bit of a clip uh, to make it work smoothly. So, you know, good piece of work nonetheless. The border of the no, that is but this is the example of someone that of uh, someone that can professionally build scenarios because you know they make a living off of this and you know if they put their mind to it and 10 hours of work through research kit bashing and map making they can do something like this and i do need to cash in my favor with night of Izzard to start learning how to actually develop my own maps but i've been a little busy with some other projects just one of the things i have shelved you know Robs talking about SCPs and tying them to Arma. <laughs> I'm, I'm up the Armas are their own SCPs, man. That's for sure. Yeah, but if it goes down. Barb, that's literally the line I've been using for like two or three years. Is I have so many things that I need to do that are shelved right now. And I can only tackle so much at once. Hey guys, so I lied. The uh, the brown box are the SAS resupply. The green boxes are the UN resupply. My bad. That's fine. We figured. Be aware of currently misfire from the UN squad. Well, 
Well, I know, Bar, I'm, just, I'm not just addressing you, I'm addressing everyone, you know. People have been watching for years, some people have just started watching, and everyone's in between. So it's just to uh, make sure everything's clarified. Now, the thing about the underbarrel flares is they last, they're a bigger effect than the mortar flares, but Dude, did you mean they burn put, out quicker. Um, flares for the flare gun in the um, respires? It's not there, it's not there. Uh, if you had all those flares, there'd be no point of the mortars, right? Then why are there flare gun rounds in the um, resupplies? Those are hand flares. They're not. They are. Charlie and a mortar is requesting ah. one times illumination on Charlie illumination. Oh, that's gone. Yep, stand by. Nope, he's right. That is for a flare gun ammo. All right, well, uh, guess you're going to have to rely on the mortars a bit more. My apologies. That's weird. Because I could have sworn those were the uh, the throwable hand flares, but... Oh, whatever. Guess that was wrong. Just means they have to rely more on the mortars. I will admit, this one I didn't. So normally for every mission I do, I get three or four people. Uh, I get them on the server and I show them everything and we just test everything. This one I didn't do that though because I wanted to surprise some of those people because they were playing the op right now. But, eh, oh well. Something that you miss. Same model but a different weapon. Yeah, no, I hate those textures the most because your brain, and your brain, you're like, oh, okay, that'll work. But no, it doesn't actually. And you're just like, oh, okay. You're SOL at that point. So, uh, units-wise, I didn't feel like templating a bunch of West Side Boys kits. Probably I was just going to use uh, African units instead. I just have to make sure when I spawn on, them, they don't come up with line? any um, GLs and whatnot. Yeah, the You've got multiple flare points already on the map. Do you want one of those, or...? This is probably, yeah, go ahead, do it on flare point zero zero one. Over. I'm going to have them quick to engage, but shitty accuracy. High shake, meaning they're also likely to miss. Uh, I just want a lot of, like, suppressive stuff here, but the aim itself is actually going to be good. I did a little bit of experimentation with this. Uh, don't get me wrong. If they get right on top of the trenches, this won't matter. They will still, like, point blank annihilate a dude, but the whole point is to prevent them from getting to that, uh, that area in the first place. So spotting distance. Spotting speed, we lower because it's dark, and then reload speed, I actually will bring it down to 75. Just to mimic Charlie that, mortar, just a bunch of chuckleheads. Now looking at the map, they're already uh, developing stuff pretty well. You've got that written on uh, global to help mark everything over. Yeah, but a different weapon. I, I make that mistake sometimes where I, uh, you know, I give the Ron ammunition type for, like, a machine gun, but it has the same exact, like, model texture as, uh, or the picture, uh, as the one I was supposed to, but it just, you know, they couldn't bother making a different one, and, ugh, you just get screwed over that way. So, yeah, I think they're just practicing right now, putting a bunch of flares out in various different areas. Uh, com combined, they have, like, 300 flare rounds, and about 150 HE, so they can be frivolous with it. Alright, we got about 12 minutes left. I'll give a 5 minute warning, and then that's the last warning. So whenever the attack comes, it'll come. I was also thinking about doing a uh, a fortify tool thing instead, but that would have just taken more time. We could do the same thing with the trenches, with grad trenches. So. Plus, people always complain when I do a fortify template texture work because I put, you know, 20 to 30 items, but it, like, clogs the heck out of the interface, and there's nothing you can do about that. So I'm just going to spare myself the complaints in that regard. But I do like looking at all the, the little defensive lines they made here. It's, it's pretty nice. 
I'll try to break some of their uh, I'll probe their, uh, for some weaknesses too, but more towards later in the operation. Sorry to hear you can't make it, David. Uh, something was wrong with Send your old but gold pack from what I saw. No. No, you can't have your goat. Spartan, back. come on. You've been holding on to my goat for nearly two years now, all right? I really need that thing back. Regardless, man, hope you keep enjoying the operations. Hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. I think they dropped all the UGL rounds here for flares, and then they have a bunch of ammo back here. That's pretty funny. one. Just getting my guys to create a small UN stash here on our front line so I can hold it. They're grabbing some spare ammo for resupply. Yeah, anyone's allowed to... Uh, do that by the way if you want to make your own little uh resupply dump close to your squad feel free but just note that if you take all of it then you're screwing everyone else over here so keep that in mind all right five minute yeah, warning will uh, be in uh another seven minutes charlie in a mortar can i get to one times illumination at charlie illum marker roger stand by Okay, so I'm, yeah, I'm literally gonna take half of the box. Nice defense line here, though. So, Wednesday's op will be uh, a really funny meme one. It'll be uh, another Australians versus emus, but the player base will be the emus this time, and I will uh, jack the insta-kill coefficient up to 100%, so you're just going to see a lot of players running up and killing uh, Australians. <laughs> I'll uh, be making some custom trench work for that probably tomorrow night. Uh, tomorrow's will be the next phase of the RUF operation, which will be on the, uh, the same map, actually. We'll be focusing on... Uh, I believe this area up here, actually. Uh, and then we have a POG operation on Thursday. Uh, that's going to be the final one in the uh, the four mission mini campaign angle they've been having me do. Uh, taking everything they raided and then using it in one final operation. Friday's FNF. Uh, Saturday will be pay for pain. I just have to uh, release the documents. I'm going to do that on uh, Tuesday. And. I'm also going to finalize the uh, documentation for the next MCO in two weeks on yep, uh, by tomorrow. But I'm, I'm going to try to have that documentation done by tonight. I've got the uh, what you might call it's done. I've got the roster made. I've got all their loadouts made. I got the resupply made. I got the vehicle templating done. I got the AO done for the most part, uh, except for enemy templating. Uh, I just got to write up the documents, and that'll take about two hours, give or take. Uh, Jacob, don't know what you're talking about. You might be trying to use a command from a different channel on mine. Uh, every Twitch streamer can set up their own commands, so. I don't really... I don't know. It's been a while since I've gone on someone... How do I word this? I look at Twitch streamers for Arma all the time, specifically smaller channels like late at night when I need something to run on the background. Uh, but in terms of watching someone like what, Remy or Digby or... I think the only one I go to once in a while is Drum just to get his attention for stuff we do on Wednesdays. But it's been a hot second since I've looked at someone else's um, stuff, mainly because I don't really learn anything from them anymore. Uh, Zeus wise because um, Remy he has his own specialization path down you know instead of Zeus saying it's more so on the mission making and building side with triggers and whatnot and that's well how do I put it that gets into the whole argument of are you a Zeus community what the hell that is my phone freaking out my mic there we go um, that's the whole argument of a Zeus mission versus a mission maker mission I'd like you but, to fire one illumination shell to illume Charlie marker every one minute and five seconds. I know everything on that. I know everything on a marker. I I know I know pretty much how to do uh, every little thing here. But... No. Why do you say no? What's going on? 
but yeah, no. So like, it's always good to watch other uh, Arma three Twitch streamers because you might learn stuff. But okay. I've been on this game for a long while, so it's uh, I don't really learn much anymore. Which is very uh, arrogant yeah, to say, but at the same time, the they also usually are streaming at the same time streaming, so never get the opportunity anyway. Uh, it is fun to go on uh, another player's mission yeah, streamer to. Uh, per, we've got. Uh, like lunch still. Yeah, most firm. So I've been I've been roughly counting. You have a little under three hundred, and you've only fired about ten. So you you still have plenty. Don't worry about it. Good copy. The math comes eyes. down to them being burned out after one minute and five seconds. No, it's just that you want to take one mortar for yourself for the southern group. Oh, well, yeah, I just want you to fire that and every minute and five full, seconds. We have a full 360 degrees to keep track of and be called for support on. Five minute warning. Yeah, but just every minute or so, pop one off over here. Was like the idea while you do other stuff, not just sitting there only doing this. I think we can switch for AG rods too. It's funny to listen to them argue over, uh, you know, control over assets. But regardless, uh, I always find it fun to also go to someone who's developing a mission, and then uh, when they talk about, you know, I wish I could do X, Y, Z, I then uh, call for the flare, but otherwise, try to explain no how to do it. It's always fun to teach people new things, because every time uh, someone learns how to do something, it makes, uh, makes every mission slightly better. There's flare rounds back here in the box. They don't work. And hand -held, hand -held flares. The hand, yeah, so the, those don't work. We already went over that. So they have to rely on the mortar flare to work properly. Oh no, I'm giving you more work. Oh no. The Iopis Psy. <sighs> Iopis has been here for years, so I, yeah, we call each other out at that point. <laughs> Ah, so, uh, mod is doing a really hard job. My God. Yeah, there's a lot of math involved. Just don't knock it off the ladder around in my trench line. <laughs> I'll be very sad. Charlie, update. I cannot give you a mortar round every minute, seeing as how time appears to be moving a fuck ton slower than normal. I mean, I can give you one every minute, but. What about one every parallel universe minute? Mm, I, I can't break people's immersion, I'm sorry. So guys, I'm gonna try to use some uh, black dots on the map to illustrate where positions actually are, again, to help the mortar, so stand by for that over here. Order. So where you see those uh, black dots is roughly where the players have set up their defensive line. Some of them have also marked it themselves, so just keep that in mind over here. All right, now the operation is going to start commencing uh, technically in another two minutes, but I am going to start setting up the first main attack that happened, which was 40 units here. Now, real quick, I'm just going to look at what you spawn, because I gotta make sure it doesn't spawn a grenadier. One minute remaining by my count. Yeah, so that's what I want to cut. And I'd also like to cut that and that. 
orders UN1 requesting one times Elum FP001 over. Also cut the RPG. I don't know why I control need that, but whatever. Right, shift I don't need to team copy anything. Uh, West Side Boys were again in Sierra Leone. Uh, that's were a subset of the Revolutionary United Front that heavily focused on the New York, not just New York, uh, the U.S. gang culture. So they called themselves the West Side Boys. All right, so the first attack was 40 to 50, and this is a squad of... For reference, for correction, Rind was uh, about 50 meters southeast, so danger close to our defensive line for future reference height. I don't see them. Charlie requesting a illumination round. Jesus, they immediately saw that. Holy shit. So historically, they waited till they were in the kill zone to open up with the machine guns, but TSB, BTSB. Oh, fuck. I forgot to... I'm gonna quickly turn that off real quick. I fucking hate that thing. I don't know why it doesn't stay off. Getting wrapped up, I'm actually going to go down here real quick, illuminate this, and we're going to make our own little custom squads out of African militia here. So let's go ahead. Put him separately. Yeah, the bone setter, I don't mind. Alright. Charlie requesting illumination rounds times two on Charlie Lou Marker. We have contacts. Mortis, this is Alpha requesting a fire mission between MT001 and MT. Now we're going to do what I like to call a main attack, which is you just hit everything around and this go from there. Alpha, be advised that fire mission is way too, way too close. Push back another 100 meters. Also making them suppress the wrong compounds, which is pretty funny. Fire mission 
I don't have any emus. <laughs> Devour, as I explained to you, we only have stuff like that in an add-ons mod, which I change based off of the operation. So I'll be utilizing the suppress commands to help uh, shape everything. The rounds were well placed on FM001. Occasionally charge their position. What is this? Is Alpha maybe add another 50 to 100 meters on that? It's a bit too close. I hate the stealth AI. Like, I wish that's just a lambs thing, unfortunately. Also, for the sake of it being an Arma op, I am going to make it so that it's, uh, we're gonna go a little above the, you know, the few hundred that were taken out and, uh, you know, up to about 100, 150 that was taken out in the scenario. Try to get that area garrisoned. You're not military contact. tactical Local people, casualties. you're fucking wannabe gangsters trying to charge Alpha in. Copies. Stop uh, it. You and Giggle 2, uh, can we get a flare on uh, FM-031? myself off there. This is, again, another reason why I hate lambs. Because <laughs> it's hijacking the control of all my AI, forcing them to go in a line formation. I don't want them to do that, though, but...
found an FB001 over. Alright, so I'm gonna let it die down a little bit. Because this has only been the first ten minutes. We're gonna do that thing where you don't act together because you're running scripts off a lamb, so it doesn't let you all fucking do that. Ah, it's annoying. About four to five minutes, let them lick their wounds. Because we just threw about, I'm going to say 150 units at them. So next time what we're going to do, excuse me. Is a uh, rush now that we know that how um Charlie I see the motors. Did you drop some HE on the southeastern circle in the tree line? Now we know how they behave, but I'm gonna have them chill for a second. Mortars, this is SAS Alpha requesting danger close fire mission over. That's up. Requesting four rounds of HE on FP006. Over. I'm actually gonna keep those delayed for now because lambs will FP activate them. Yeah, we've got some, uh, got some boys who got danger close to us up there. Let them relax. Okay, cool. Two to mortars. Whatever happened to our fire mission on FM039? A fucking bar here that's blocking our line of sight. You're gonna have to have a little patience. If you haven't pre-plotted during the planning phase, we have to do math. Ah, uh, fair enough, sorry. So, give it a bit. I didn't say stop, you can keep going, I don't give a shit. What the fuck are they doing in here? They're playing radio. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Keep in mind, the motors don't have audio computer. Yeah, that's what math means. 
Everything that you have pre-plotted out, we have pre-plotted with ranges, so anything you want that's different than that, you're going to have to give us a little bit of time. Oh, dude, I should have said that in the, not, uh, the brief, that's why I was putting my stuff on map out. <laughs> Norton SAS squad, only got pushing us roughly, we don't advise from this angle over. Sagan. Norton, you got the squad on the side, one of the two cars, so we don't want to go pushing us over. I'm not putting you in spot, it's not currently engaging. That's the difference, but. What? What? What did you do to the Vic? What did you? Are you okay? Oh, this is the group I called it in. Never heard the splashes, so. I can't even hear my gunshots right now. There we go. I can repeat it on the. Well, just so the pass. AI can see, but now we're doing an actual rush here. I think I just killed one of my own dudes. This is a uh, SAS Alpha to the Western Force. You guys okay over there? We're getting some dangerous close slashes from your area. Three rounds out. Oh, oh god. Attack to the south. Three rounds out. Open me. Complete. Out. Confirm me. Out. 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 Mortars UN one. Good effect on target. Hide. Mortars, this is SAS one requesting one times Ilum on MT two zero zero four. Over. Oh, that chuck I'll have is looting. On MT2, theta, theta Good feedback. Um. Alright, then this group I'm gonna let be one super round sneaky. Requesting one times elimination round on FP001. Over. Again. So I bumped up the spotting so they can actually, like, see. We'll throw in one more uh, M2 car here. On the flank. You're going deaf, sorry. Hi, this is UN1. Let's see his command send message. Uh, what's the rolling in enemy vehicles, over? Uh, if you want to use it, feel free, over. Are you, are you retarded? No, 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 stop it. Why are you dumb? Bravo to Morg is requesting Daniel Close 
Fire Mission 6 round from FM001 to over. Oh, there goes my gunner. That's a completely different direction than what you were looking for. That's a rock. Confirm you want FM001 to FM005. Break, break, break. Charlie needs urgent fire mission. At marker fire mission, Charlie, we have three squads coming at us right now. Get rid of that. What's marker, Charlie? Charge. Is it Bravo? All contracts neutralized from the uh, north. I said charge. Follow me into battle. Well, uh, the battle didn't last that long. Copy. <laughs> the battle did not last dawn at all. All right, we're going to have another lull. Ay, ay, ay. How many rounds from uh, FM5? Rush uh, makes some charge. Charlie to mortars, good effect on those rounds, we counted five kills. Oh. Oh. Far on top. Alright, so a few more groups to come in and try to sneak their way between lines here. Uh, giggle to the mortars, uh... And we'll wait this one uh, out a little bit. I think you can do a uh, repeat fire mission and... Say minus 10. 10 meters. On what, exactly? I just had your fucking round, rounds land on something. That's very helpful. We need a, we need a fire mission for that. Uh... FM-039. UN's pushing. There was no fire round on FM0309. Well, then they have fucking mortars. Oh, shit. I, I doubt that, but if our rounds are not uh, hitting where they're supposed to hit, you need to tell us. Break Toasty, you might be. Might have heard the fire mission on FM2005. I saw the kickup of uh, explosives going off in front of a barn. So it was definitely a fire mission, so it wasn't landing where it was supposed to. Okay, then that's something you need to say. Like, hey, it's falling short. If, if you don't have eyes on something that you're calling in, then don't call it. Because. Air resistance is on. We need to know if our rounds are hitting on target or not. You and Squid One, this is SAS. Uh, how close are you guys to FM55? You and Squid One, this is SAS Alpha. How close are you guys to FM55? So as we go on and on, I'm gonna make it uh, a little harder and harder for QRF to come in. Surely you're busting one times illumination flare on an illum 
Charlie marker when I'm a platoon is like four squads, so well actually technically they regard the UN as a platoon in here, which is only two squads of sixteen men. So platoon is relative to the military you're representing. When I say platoon, I usually based off of US uh, military doctrine, which is four squads. But it can be anywhere from two squads to, I think, eight or nine squads can be a platoon. And then that squad size can be anywhere from six to, like, 20. And that's just your actual U uh, world history. And then you get into fantasy. And, I mean, the Kriegs would consider a squad of, of 120 as a squad in their logic. Well, that guy doesn't exist anymore. I have no idea what these idiots are doing. Charlie's and mortars in Iraq. Was that mortar for illumination fired at the Charlie Illum marker, or was it fired just directly up? Fired at the uh, Illum. Be advised it drifted about 50 meters north. Yes, the wind is a thing. Yeah, I'm just mortars. Like, you know, mortars, you and one. Don't know who called it in FM 002. Good effect on target. You might put an enemy squad. Platoons is in plural more than one, yeah, okay. Alright. They're still playing the fucking radio up there. I think the next thing I'll do is like a vehicle deployment. I'm curious, what do we have left? They haven't really been touching their resupply. How about these guys? We're out of magazines there. And we still got a good chunk there, probably because they were taking it up for their uh, stuff. Suppression's way off. Mortis, this is uh, SAS Alpha. Repeat five mission. Uh, we're wasting a lot of mortars, and we have no idea if it's actually hitting or not. Uh, can confirm good hits hitting directly in the bond. It's just not going down yet, but it's not damaged texture. Oh, they're trying to blow this up. <laughs> it's a well-built barn. Speaking of RPGs. What is this? Is SSF for uh, good hits? Uh, do not repeat. Over. Why did the RPG and my fucking thing just fall out? Literally, it was. Get, get back in the fucking thing.
zero six. Uh, eight times more rounds. Eight mortar rounds. <laughs> For one guy. <laughs> For one guy. I love it. You want three mortar rounds spread out across a 300 meter distance. That's so good. Why? Why are the. Why, why, uh, sir! What? Uh, what? Uh. Hello? Medics to uh, medics. This is Bravo Two. I see. Be advised. We request medical at Bravo firing line for uh, one times uh, man who got hit in the face with a rocket. Also, be advised all nets. Enemies are needed to use rocket propelled grenades. Uh, beware. Fucking hell! Was that RPG? We just took a direct fire from an RPG at uh, Bravo fucking giggle two mark. Recommend you shoot back. Shooting back would be good. Yes. Spook the shit out of him. Okay, four rounds out, because that's what I had in the tube. Bravo copies oh. good effects on more rounds out. Again, I have no idea who's carrying in fire missions on FM002. It's empty at the moment. Bravo called in between FM-001 to FM-006 and called for three rounds. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, that, that was my reaction. Life and uncut. See that bar? That's what's causing it. I don't know why. The bar's been set pretty low. We burned 20 mortar rounds on a bar. Make sure you check your call in points. There's now three separate calls. I've had to come into set empty areas. Can I take a page out of their book? No. Charlie to mortars, can we get two times AT rounds on fire mission 10? Hello. And again, they don't know any better. It's just me commanding them accordingly. Let's see if I can get away with a charge. Three rounds out. All right. Are you going to follow me? No? Yep. Let's do it. He didn't make it. Oh, this dude has a Mosin Nagan. Yes, they are. They want to be gangsters. <laughs> it's the drugs, man. It's the drugs. <laughs> All right, I'll let the fighting die down, and then we'll, uh, I'll say they're going to go collect, collect some of their dead, so... Here, we can charge with a PKM. Let's do it. Well, he didn't last too long, now did he? Orders, you on one. Repeat last fire mission. I copy, over. Roger, stand by. Three out. 
uh, he ran off. I think we just saw that shell actually come in there for a brief moment. Well, the SL just ran up and died, so let's send the rest of them. There we go. Do some long range suppression. Sorry to hear that, Andrewza. Oh, David, you can do that with uh, Achilles too. You just hold Alt to do it, but it's really risky because it can uh, just break your own interface outright. That's why you don't see me do it. It's called switch unit. Yes, quiet. Quiet, Felipe. Just go. Okay, you're you're out of vision. I'm I think they're checking their RPGs, but I'm making sure to use all the RPGs. Oh, fuck. No, not that glitch again. Come on. Reload. Reload. Put it in. Come on. I'm just gonna spawn him. Fuck it. No, we're gonna do the we're gonna do the dead collection first. Hello. Confirm fire mission on FM55. Confirm. You're the one who called it in. Confirm yes, hit it. Mortis, this is Bravo. Uh, Run, bitch! On demo. Three rounds out, FM 055. We can't say. Uh oh. Down as well. This is SAS Alpha. Thank you for leveling that barn. Over. Only took about 24 AG runs. Yes. Uh, Don't worry, we'll bring, yeah, we'll, we'll bring that up later. Yeah, we'll bring that up later when we run out. <laughs> All forces command be advised the enemy is going to start picking up their dead. That's my fancy way of saying I'm going to start deleting bodies. Not all of them, mind you, but some of them because there's over 250 corpses out there. Over. And your server hasn't died yet? Oh, I know. I, I do my best work here, you know? <laughs> Those are rookie numbers. Bring them up. Frickin' bodies. Bodies galore. Uh, this is a request from Bravo Squad. Apparently, there are a few guys who want more enemy mortars coming down. <laughs> uh, you anyone's gonna countermand that? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? 
They wanted mortars in their own position of uh, agents. No, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> We're not that desperate, not yet. Can give you a smoke shell. Shackle heads. Now, granted, if this was supposed to be something like bloody and brutal and they took heavy casualties, I'd find a way to emulate it. But this one, they didn't, the uh, like, historically didn't take a single casualty. So I was like, okay, you know, just kill what I can. Alright, so that got rid of most of them. I'm going to give it a minute, and then we'll see how things go. Whew. But I hope you guys have been enjoying this Orders so far. UN1 requesting one times ELIM FP003. I copy over. And let's see. African Russia, cars. cars. This is UN1. Where do we currently have medics? Because I could use a pack or blood at some point. Flare out. What is this? Is uh Alpha uh, requesting you just. Range FM two zero zero six. If you haven't already done so, already done. Copy. Thank you. Ah. We are not lazy. All forces, all forces. They have stopped picking up their dead. Thank you for being patient. Over. Confirm me. What is this? Is SASL for the crusting round count over? Whoa. So the mortars have, they can only see things in silos of eight and they can't distinguish between the group. So asking for round counts, they they don't know in all honesty. And that's just a limitation of the asset. We'll let you know when we run out of HE. <laughs> Copy. They'll only know there when they run out of something. Cuts. I mean, on the other hand, my scope for my mortar gets night vision, so. Hi, Boo. How are you? You're tired? Did you get off work? You're still working? All right. That's okay, Boo. I have no idea. Charlie, requesting two times HE shells on fire mission zero one zero. How are you guys screwing up driving in a straight line? Watch them dismount again despite the rush module. Why do you take off his uniform? But there's nothing I can do to fix that. That's that's his own stupid mistake. Congratulations. So the reason for that is because um, some of them I've equipped civilian uniforms on because civilian clothes was logically what a lot of the UN guys had, uh, according to the report. So there's an awful lot of smoke, so I can't really kill you, give you a kill count, but you hit right on their group. Yeah, BDA yeah, means did we hit the target or not? This is uh, Moldes is Bravo requesting. Two times HE between Fox Chopper 005 and Mike Tango 2001. Hey, boo. That's what the actual lighting looks like. I'm 
I got rid of my copy bar. All right, well, it's fine. Just to intermingle some stuff with that attack. I do find Order this annoying, UN1 but I think that's Lamb's RPG trying to set them to work properly, but because it rescripts uh, how AT works. And when you rescript something, it puts it through a lengthy reload animation. Yeah, that was uh-oh, all right. Oh, man. Orders, UN-1. Good effect on target type. Rounds out on FM-2007. That was indeed uh-oh. <laughs> just, you just hear it whistling in. Yep. Uh, Cheeks, I don't think it would work that way because... It would still rescript the unit because the rescript is being done once it's actually spawned on the server. So, oh, it sounds like I'm actually doing some damage to him. That's good. So it's not a complete stomp out, you know. Which you know historically it was, but I do wanna hit them a little hard. I just got to make sure that all these are set to rush so they don't bail out. But after that, we'll have another little wall. Then we'll do uh, another massive northern attack. But here, let's try to find... Trailer requesting two times AG rounds on fire mission 010. Uh, where was I? Oh, I no, he's exactly working on that Skelly, that's why. All four be advised. Let me take that we'll inbound direct sight. So it fired off, but immediately it got Target shredded. Technical is down. Rounds on target. What are you doing? I did not order you to do that. You still have ammo? That's the trenches. So leaning up hides me into the vet. This is uh, SAS Alpha. Uh, we're hearing a M2 firing off to the east northeast. Are you guys okay? You have one of the three at this time. We have no M2 firing on us. Be advised, it's Bravo 2 IC. Be advised, I'm eyes on enemy gas. Technical arms bearing 060 Northeast Road. Oop. Is it next to any of the FPs or FMs? All right, so we've been fighting for about an hour now, uh, a little under, actually. So I'm going to give it about another two, three minute lull and then attack from the north. But Mustache Man, bro, thanks for the 39 month resub. I hope you keep enjoying the operations, and I hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. Seems pretty yeah, So they still got a big cache of magazines back there. Be advised, technical to save all the peers to be south of 
It's been about as well as I've wanted it to go so far. So now I'm debating if there is a way I could even ramp up the difficulty from here. And uh, the only thing I can think of. Random idea to possibly bait an enemy attack. If we hold mortars for a while, they might think that we've ran out and rushed us and we could crush them with what we have. That's Just pretty funny. Out. That assumes the enemy forces are unlimited or limited rather. Yes. For all intents and purposes of this operation, they are unlimited because I think we've already killed twice as many forces. I mean, uh, this is um, vehicle two. We have a one man down. Can we get the medics over here for a medic? Pretty sure this works on area of effect on radius, so. Giggle two. Giggle two. Fucking you and group two. Oh, you should probably use that designation. I'm already next to them, tank. This is Bravo requesting four rounds from FM zero zero three to FM zero zero two. Over. Alpha, we got a uh, techie turn off. They're still playing that damn radio. Did you? What did you? You goobers. What is this Bravo requesting? Uh, three times H T between Foxtrot Papa zero zero five and Ike Tango two zero zero four. Just, just throw in the book at this point. Throw the book. Throw everything. It helps them stay focused, yeah, right? You gotta be careful when you spam the AI like this because they will just stop following those commands. Alright, best thing I can think of now is just add some uh Mangled RPGs. Uh, they have uh, one of the squads, the SAS groups, has uh, some actual music playing. I'm just gonna start making guesses. Oop, they got me. Sweet. Mortis, this is SSL for good strikes and all, ever. Alpha, this is Bravo. Be advised, 
you got enemies pushing up to you to your northwest close. Shut down. Alpha call base. Oh, this is brother with West. Four times, HG and Tango Yankee, zero, zero, one. Break, 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 Quarter priority fire mission, 20 plus EI pushing across open field, FM zero, zero, four, requesting three times HG West, East, I call you. They just did you find FM zero zero four. I think it was just called RPGs as GP uh grenade machine gun. I have a really dumb idea, but I want to see what happens. To see if lambs will uh, will do something with it. I doubt it, but it's going to be very, very nasty if they actually do. Don't you dare say frickin' silent bullshit on me. Mortars, UN-1, good effect on target. Another horde coming in from original mortar position. Uh, I'll give a call if needed, but we'll see if we can handle it. Right. The grenade and stuff up here. Mortars, this is Bravo. Good effect on target. No, we're not making the RPGs fire like a freaking Gatling. Fit about the hour mark, but I think I've exhausted the, the West Side boys five times over. <laughs> Not fun for them. Goober. Yeah, they're still using their regular guns, and there's a dude up there. Well, he's about to not be up there. Be advised, Charlie is reporting four times RPG gunners in the squad. Orders, you had one good effect on target. Mission complete. I. What is this? Is SES Alpha requesting three times HE FM 2006. Yeah, they brought back a bunch of guns. <laughs> The AI have just given up. Yep. All right. Well. Mortars, this is uh, SAS Alpha. Good splash. Over. Let's let time tick up normally. Start seeing it get a little brighter in this regard. But this is great historical proof to show you what happens when one side has a mortar and the other side does not. It gets messy.
Rush. Don't stop. Rush. Go, go. You, you were doing so well. Go. Audrey, you okay? Yeah, apparently you can't hear me. Interesting. On local now. Interesting. That's a new one. Silent. Bravo, this is Alpha. I count 10 times plus enemy infantry coming in from the north. Alpha, this is Bravo. Be advised, I count 10 times, 10 times plus enemy EI moving in north from uh, bearing 015 from our cause. Just saw Slushy, uh, hit Slushy in the back. Looks like he brought back, got brought back up. Last trick up my sleeve. Orders, this is uh, Alpha requesting four times HG between MT2003 and MT2002. Over. Roger, stand by. They're both fucked up. They're heading back. It's because they wanted RPGs, but they're probably not going to have an uh, ability to use them. Irony in its finest form. What's bugging me is uh, the AI do not want to rush now. So I think I broke lambs. Excellent. Come on. Rush. Charlie to mortars, can I get a fire mission on fire mission zero one zero four rounds HE? Here, there's no point. Cool. I'm gonna micro time a little bit. This is Bravo, they're currently- Good effect on target. The Just to start having the sun come out. Down to five magazines for the M16s over. 
No, one of them fired an RPG at me, that's why. Now, just a meme. I want to see if that will create any little difference to have a potential mask as. And yes, it does. This is Bravo. The resupply is coming out of M16 ammunition. Out. Got set back to stealth. Just the WrestleMania of fucking lambs. And now he's dead. Alright, well. I'm gonna meme for a second. Combat lasted for about hour 15 with a 30 minute build phase. I'm happy with that. All forces, all forces be advised. The sun has started coming out. It started to get bright. Uh, according to the documentation, this is when the attack ended with a decisive victory for you and a massive amount of casualties on the west side, boys. Uh, stand by for index. Over. GG. All right, I'm happy with that. Cheers. Nice. Oh, I just used our superior. Empty statistics. Trenches Woo. for the win. <laughs> Mortar for the win. Mm -hmm. I just. Oh, all right, so hope you guys had fun with that scenario. Uh, hope uh, you enjoyed digging your own defense lines and holding them, and I hope you uh, enjoyed playing a little bit of history. Uh, Let's start with UN1, then UN2, Alpha Bravo, Charlie, Medics, then Mortars. So, go ahead. UN1, which I think is the first squad. Oh, <laughs> his mic broke. All right, let's do UN2 while he fixes it. Well, I mean, I, was, I could be UN1 because I was part of that unit. I mean, we did good. We built a shit ton of trenches. but uh... That's UN1, not 2. So can, yeah, can no. UN2 go? Because I just asked for UN2, please. All right. Well, UN2, UN Gaggle 2. We started off blind, ended off uh, just as blind, but we built fuck tons of trenches, <coughs> several lines. We held the line, we pushed out, we stole a car. Uh, we took no casualties. Think, think, ignoring oh, I'm alive again. Yeah. Uh, continue uh, with UN2, yeah. please. We took no casualties, ignoring the disconnect. Uh, everyone did very well. We just fucked them up real well. Uh, 
You want one to go? Uh, first of all, squad, excellent work there. Uh, responded well, positioning was good, looted when needed, listened. Generally, all around good show. Uh, special shout out to the mortars. Thank you for going off the pre range stuff I had. Made calling in stuff really easy. Strikes were all on target, no issues. You killed an absolute shit ton on our side, so good job. Rest of the squads, well coordinated. Uh, maybe don't use 24 of our precious HE rounds in a barn, but that's about it. Uh, sorry, go ahead, whoever's next. That's Bravo. No, that's Alpha. Alpha for UN. Uh, for SAS. Sorry, yes, Alpha uh, for SAS, my bad. Yeah, we did pretty good. Um, we just like dug in and killed everyone. I don't think anybody died bar a couple of disconnects. Um, besides that, yeah, it went well. Uh, mortars were really effective. Sorry for using 24 on a bomb, but you know, we didn't like that bomb. Um, besides that, not really much to add. It all went well. The squads coordinated, even though not, not much was really needed besides calling in shitloads of mortars. Uh, SES Bravo? Yep, that's me. My squad did well. We set up a whole bunch of trenches. We shot all the shit. Our MV used a lot of ammo. Good job. Mortars, on fucking point. You did phenomenally. Appreciate it. Uh... Charlie? Yeah. Charlie for SAS? Uh, Charlie, just in the south, uh, we saw a good fair bit of contact, enjoyed the up. Oh. That all? I think. Yep. Alright, medics. Uh, I'm not sure if Zero's still here, or did he completely? Uh, left. let's just go for whatever medics here. Uh, well, that would be me. It was overall fun, ran out around a lot. Brought a few people back from nearly dead. Other than that, it was great fun. That would be all. Alright, uh, Iopus for the first mortar. Yeah, uh, BDA means did the rounds hit the target? Not, uh, you know. Yeah, basically just learn how to make calls, I guess. Uh, and when we ask for clarification, Whoever calls for the last fire mission, you gotta actually speak up and say, yeah. There are a number of times people, uh, like, fumbled their descriptions of what they wanted. So it became a little interesting, but yeah, overall, good. Second mortar. I can only say the same as Iopus. Um, the only thing is why it's quite a mess, a little bit in the early, uh, when everyone wanted to murder. And after that, it was pretty good. All right, that's for me. Feedback is open on uh, uh, fucking Discord. That's it. Uh, feel free to post your things there. Sorry if it was a little on the boring end, but that's because you did the yacht properly. Uh, if one line fell or if mortars were slow, uh, a lot of things could have fallen apart for this op to uh, quickly turn against you. So sorry if it was boring on that regard. Anyway, uh, enjoy the rest of your day. I'm not sure if there's anything else. Oh, wait, no, there's a uh, potluck tonight. Go to potluck. Have fun. Be cool. Thank you tomorrow morning. Yeah. All right, that is going to be it for me today. Might do some dev streaming later, uh, but otherwise I'm going to take a small break and then get back to it. Uh, I got to build the next MCO's document and then pay for paying. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all those mission files. So thank you so much for watching. Go operate operation. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Cheers and have a good one.